Hey guys, my name is Chris, founder of Lajax Media. We are a web designing and online marketing company, and today I want to talk to you about photo recovery. I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to recover deleted photos from an SD card, memory card, hard drive, or any other kind of device that can be attached and read from your computer. And the first thing you want to do is open up your browser and follow along with me by visiting this link that's on your screen or clicking the link directly under this video in the description box. It will take you to this page where you can choose either the Windows version or Mac version of this software. And then you want to click the green button that says free download. Now this is a free trial version that allows you to scan your device and it will show you whether those photos can be recovered or not before you decide to purchase it. Many of the tools on the market today don't give you this option. They actually require you to purchase it up front before you can even check if they can be recovered. So make sure you click the green button, download the free trial version, and once you do, you'll have an icon like this. You just want to open it up, and you'll get a screen that looks like this here. And the first thing you want to do is click this little menu icon here, and then click the one with the gear. And make sure this third box is unchecked, otherwise it's going to take a much longer time for you to scan your device. Then click close, and then we want to start by clicking the recover photo, audio, and video button. Okay, now once we're here, it's going to show us all of our hard drives, our partitions, and attached media to our computer. We want to select the one that we want to scan. And then we can go down here and choose to scan for photos, videos, or audio files. You can either check or uncheck any of those. And then to refine it even further, you can click on Advanced Settings, and you can choose the specific types of files that you want to recover within the photo, audio, and video categories. Otherwise, just leave them all clicked and click OK. Next, we're going to click on Scan Now, and it's going to start and we can see over here in the left hand column already how many we can recover. Let me maximize this and we're going to give it just a minute here. Actually, I think it's found quite enough for us to go ahead and dig through. I'm going to click cancel scan and we can already see how many it's found that we can recover and by clicking on each one of these we can see the image up here so we know that they can be recovered and that's what makes this trial version so beneficial is because now that we know they can be recovered then we can purchase the software and in return we can have our uh, deleted photos back in a matter of just a couple minutes so as I scan through here you can see how it's picking up all these images and if I scroll down you can see these images here where the creation date goes clear back to here's one from 2006 even and if I click it it shows up so I can even pull back this photo that's still available for me to take from 2006 which is you know years ago and so over here I can either tick a box for a specific type of a file and it'll automatically check those for example JPEG I can tick this box it's going to check all of them and then I can click recover to get those back now also we can do the same thing with videos they, they do have a built-in video player and it'll show us previews of these videos if we are able to recover them and of course since we didn't let it run very long it may not this one here it shows us so as long as you're able to see the preview you can recover them so what we want to do is go ahead and just make sure the ones are selected we want to recover click recover and then it's going to tell us to register a copy of stellar phoenix by clicking the register button now once we do this it's going to take us to their website where we can they're going to give us several options of how we want to purchase it and then after that we're going to see right here they give us a box for username and key they will send you an email with this information you just want to add it in this box click OK and then you're going to be able to uh, automatically get those images put back on your computer once again and that's how easy it is to recover photos so go ahead and follow the link there on your screen or click it underneath this video so you can get started and hopefully get your photos recovered as well